Hey guys, this is Iker to tech in today. Um, I had a, like maybe two questions. Oh no, I have one question on YouTube from uh, Rele Mlastif Mlastifa. Um, it's asking about the file extension video that I made, and he's asking um, how to. He's trying to edit it with Movie Maker, but it's not working. And this is the reason why I didn't put in the video because I didn't know about this. I knew about it after I did the video. So I'm sorry, but I'll inform you right now. Now, I'm going uh, to go through the video. Oh, just uh, You already know how to get it onto your desktop from your, your device and to turn it into 3GP. Now, once you have it as a 3GP, what you are going to do is um, go into... Oh, I have this program. It's called Free Studio Manager. Um, so we'll, we'll go download that right now. Just go into Google. Type it Free Studio Manager. And it's DVD Video Soft. So click on that. And then just go download Free Studio entirely. It's going to tell you download, just download it, I already have it so I'm not going to. And then after you do that, that's pretty much all you need. I'm going to show you two ways, but this way it works. In this file, Free Studio Manager, they have a thing called 3GP, 3GP Video Converter. If you open up that, it's probably going to ask you to, um, to install it. Just install it, it's very easy. And then you're going to get to a window like this. Now, what you are going to do, let me just get my 3GP um, video. Hold on, I'll be back. Let me just get the video real quick. Alright, I found it. Okay, I'm going to browse for it. It's on my desktop in a folder called New Folder. And it has 3GP. I'll open it. Okay, it shows you what time and where it's at. And now you go to output folder, you put where you want it to be outputted, and output name, I'm going to put, um, um, final extension, right, redo. And yeah, it's okay. And then you go to formats, and you could change it from AVI to MP4, but you don't want an MP4 because that's what you change it to 3GP. And you don't want a 3GP because you're changing it from 3GP. So go to AVI. Or you could do audio only if you have maybe you want the music from a video. And then presets go to high quality. And you're gonna click click convert. And it's gonna do file conversion on your desktop. You're gonna see a file come up and it's gonna convert for you. Now it should take less than a minute. So I'm gonna come back when it's done. Okay, it's going to say conversion was complete, and you could close, or you could open up the folder where it's at. But I put mine on the desktop, so I'm going to close this. You can minimize this, and close out this. But uh, in this program, you actually have a lot of other useful programs that you could just install and use. if all free. Free Studio Manager. <laughs> so, And you have this video. Now we're going to open it up in Movie Maker, which I have over here, and show you that it'll work. So we'll go to Import Media. We're going to go right here, click on this one, go to Import. It's going to import it. And then oops, you're going to see that it comes up in the video uh, viewer. And you can actually edit it and do whatever you want. So I could drag a clip here and I could play it. Everything else. Um, yeah, that's it. Click on that. And I'll come back to you with the second part right in a sec. Hello, so um, that was the first way of doing it, 
Now here's the second way and it has no programs, it's using the internet. So I have it open. It's a media dash converter convert.com. I'm gonna have it in the description. So when you go to media dash convert dot com, start from the beginning, here you go. It's gonna say file. And you're gonna say browse and input format. So my import format is three GB. So we'll do that firstly. Then go browse and look for it. It's in the folder that I put new folder. Open this up. To more than one form, please select. Okay. Okay. Just say okay if those things pop up. Now come over here to output format. Click uh, Windows, Mac, DVD, Pocket, whatever you want. I'm just going to say Windows because I'm on a Windows machine. And you could do AVI, um, which I guess is um, the main one. And, or you could do WMV. Um, don't do MOV because it won't open up with uh, Movie Maker unless you have the codec installed on your computer, on your Windows computer. But um, you could do any other one if you want. If you want it for your iPod, um, Flash, um, SWF, that's what I mean by Flash, Wave, but those are um, music files. Um, but, so um, say I'm going to do it with WMV. Okay, if you pick Windows, it's automatically going to go into AVI. And if you pick another one, it's not going to say no video preset. So... If it doesn't, if WMV doesn't open up with um, Movie Maker, I know that AVI does, so you should probably use AVI. So we're just going to do that to make this video a little simpler. And you're going to click OK. And it's going to start up. You'll see it start, um, it'll have a download, I mean, upload bar like this. And it's gonna go through 100%, and it's gonna go to a new page. That's gonna tell you it's gonna be processing it and finalizing it, the coding and whatever. And then it's gonna bring you to a page where you could download it, which I'll show you after it finishes. So that probably take about um, maybe like five to eight minutes, possibly. So I'll come back when that's done. Okay. As you can see, this file is actually com successfully converted, and down here they have video AVI, or they give you a link, or you can send it to a friend. But if you go video, click on the video FOV, whatever, it's gonna ask you to download it, and just click save file. Shouldn't take that long. It'll take about about a minute or less. I'm gonna go to my downloads folder or wherever you have yours go. Just downloading, okay. Go into my downloads folder and I find this video file that's .avi and I'm gonna uh, copy it to my desktop and close that out. And if I double click on it, it's gonna open up Windows Media Player. So there you go, it opens up Windows Media Player. Show you that it opens up in Windows Movie Maker. I want to open it up. Import media. I think it should be this one because it's on my desktop. I'll say import. It's gonna import it in again. And I can view it and so those are the two ways of being of changing a 3GP the 3GP format to be able to use it to edit in Windows Movie Maker. Now if you're on Mac and you want to do this, you would change it to MOV dot, yeah, dot MOV which is um the other way that I showed you how to do it. If you go now if you come over here for Mac, you go over here and you click Mac and it's going to go to Apple QuickTime dot MOV and then you'll be able to change it for Mac. Alright, so that's my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I helped you out. Rela Mal Malasfia. I'm sorry, Rela Malasfia.
I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. I'm so sorry.